Yeah, my name is Michael J. Young, man. I'm, they call me Mike Young. Uh, from New York. Well, I've been singing all my life. I was signed a lot of years ago to three record companies, and I wound up singing on the subway for 37 years. I had got a job at the Department of Parks, and a friend of mine, he passed away now, but he said, how much do you make? I said, $65 a day. He said, come with me in three hours, you make $50. The rest is history. It's been too I'm afraid. For a singer, you have to have an audience. In the subway, you got an audience every day. But what happens is you fall into that bag of doing something you love and singing for people and they're enjoying it. And 30 something years later, <laughs> um, I was still singing in some ways. I have so many people who are proud to just say that, hey, I've been here Mike Young for 20 years. I've been here Mike Young for X amount of years. I couldn't figure out why he was in the subway, but uh, he brought pleasure to me every day. I have a bad day at work. I come on the way home. I get to listen to Mike Young, so it makes my night. You know, people say a lot of real important things to, to let you know that, uh, it's not just the subway, it's what you bring to the subway. I need your love. I, I, I need your love. The internet was a blessing for me. Uh, uh, I, did a, I did a song in the subway, and it was 40 million views in four days. Then I did the Late Late Show. I did America's Got Talent. I said this on uh, America's Got Talent. Success is what you make it. You know what I mean? If you can bring a smile to somebody or somebody's feeling down and you bring their spirits up, I've been successful. Might not have the money, but I've been successful. I've been bringing joy to hundreds and hundreds of people. Yeah. Everything that happened, there's a reason for it. And uh, I'm a real spiritual person. God said it's time. So uh, grab a hold of your seat. We can ready to take a ride. Martin uh, said he had, he had seen me a long time ago online and he got in touch with uh, some people and some people got in touch with me and voila, I'm with Martin, Martin Garris. I'm a little old school, I didn't know, even know who Martin Garris was and when I mentioned his name, all my kids went crazy. Um, my brother down south went crazy, everybody said, Mike, you don't know who you're talking about, that's Martin Garris. He said that uh, I would be coming to Amsterdam, man, that uh, he wanted to do a project with me. And guess what? I'm in Amsterdam. Can you, make... oh, yeah. you want to try a typical Dutch? It's typically Dutch. It's called a stroopwafel. Really? Yeah, I'll eat too. Mm. You like it? My cook come to my room. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually, we met in New York. And I was mm -hmm. like, man, you should come to Amsterdam. I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. But he never believes something until he actually sees it happen. And then we were in Amsterdam. Yeah. And he told me, man, we're here. Now we're going to yes. do it. The first time I found about Mike Young was when I saw a video of him on my Instagram. It was him singing, um, If You Don't Know Me Right Now. And that video went super viral. And um, his voice is so special. And, and I miss those type of voices in music. And I was like, fuck, it would be so sick if he wanted to work together. We connected and then two months later we, he came to Amsterdam and, and here at Stamped it was, it was magical. I, uh, I was with Ilse Huber and Brian Lee and of course with Mike and we rented a boat, we went on the canals with the guitar and we wrote five amazing songs and we were jamming and then sometimes we would go under a bridge and he would go full voice and, and just the echo. It, it, I, goosebumps so many times because he's such a powerful voice. 
everybody was standing on the sides of the canals. They immediately, whenever he started singing or going full voice, they would go like, immediately start filming. It was, it was special. The funny thing is we connected even without the music. Yeah. Just hanging in New York, we met in New York. Oh, and yeah. It's like this guy, special guy. I wanna, I wanna work with no, him. No, 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 he's a special guy. No, <laughs> this guy is a special this guy. This guy is a special I'm guy. I'm a computer man. nerd. <laughs> he got the voice, crazy, yeah. craziest voice ever. And I got the voice, he got the magic. <laughs> so you put the two together, it's like unstoppable. You Thank know what you. I mean? It means a lot. For sure. No, this guy has yeah, got so much emotion, so much power in his voice, and it's it's it was it's a one, it's the first of many. We're working on a lot more crazy stuff, but yeah, I feel like something to believe in is the first perfect first song, and we've yeah. we've wrote many many more. So it's a it's gonna be a journey, a very cool journey. For sure. I'm a lover, so don't tell me who to love. I'm a runner, cause I got somewhere to run. I just listen to the voices in my head when they tell me I always have something to believe in. As long as I got something to believe in, as long as I got something to believe in. As long as I got something to believe in Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Well, it's funny because Mike and I are complete opposites if you, if you look at it from a musical side. I'm very electronic and he is soul. He's, he's got an old voice. It was really, really cool to find a balance in the middle. But while we met and while we started working, there were actually so many points, so many fields that we were exactly the same in. That was what was really cool. We, have, we, we both share the same passion for music. We, we get happy if we see other people happy. And Mike is a unique, very special person. He, he has the most amount of joy if he sees someone else smile. And I can relate to that. I call Martin uh, the man who makes magic happen. <laughs> you know, in other words, you can hear a song and, and until he puts his little magic to it, you know, it's just a plain song. Martin takes a, 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 a plain song and give it energy. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Seeing everything come together. Wild. Oh, <laughs> me! <laughs> I texted him two weeks before. I was like, hey, what do you think about a gospel choir in a song? He was like, love that, sick idea. So we set it up here and, and the gospel choir came and it was an instant connection. Everybody ready? Iedereen weer klaar? Komt ie. It sounded fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a very happy human being, thanks to you guys. <laughs> you got to believe. You got to believe. It's a song about passion, it's a song about hope, it's a song about faith and as long as you got something to believe in, that's where you find the strength, that's what you need. Everybody has a dream, so never give up your dream and never give up, period, you know what I mean? Um, you see people every day, they go to work and they come home and they say they hate their job, you know, but the key is find something that you love 
stick to it. And who knows? Mike, it's, it's his story, but if, even if it's with reaching a goal in personal life, or maybe you want to do something successful with sports, maybe you want to become a DJ or producer, I, I want people to play that song while they're at home and they need motivation, they need, they need that extra push. Can we do one take that all together, euphoric, full energy? Martin snatched me under the wing like he didn't know me for years. And that's how it feels now, like, like, like I said, that's my brother from a different mother, but that's my brother. I'm a dreamer. Don't tell me not to dream. I got freedom, and that's everything to me. It don't matter what I've got or where I go. I find shelter a million miles from home. It ain't easy to get going when it's hard. Keep shining in the dark when you wanna fall apart. But I'm a dreamer. So don't tell me not to dream, I'm a believer As long as I got something to believe in As long as I got something to believe in As long as I got something to believe in As long as I got something to believe in Martin hears a lot of things that nobody else hears <laughs> You know, and what he heard is, he heard me, and he said, hey, Mike, it's gonna be simply amazing. An amazing day. I live for days like this. Days like this, I will be in my bed. I will not be able to fall asleep because I'm so excited, so happy. These are the days, these are the moments I live for. And the shows, because then I can play the music. But today was fucking crazy. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, Woo! The dream is the world is getting ready to hear Mike Young. You know, that's uh, the best feeling in the world.